people often wonder why they have pain between their shoulder blades and they're doing all this releasing stuff for their muscles, but they're not really working on the range of motion of their upper back. So as you warm up here, curving forward and extending up to the ceiling, you're focusing on spreading apart those shoulder blades and then squeezing those shoulder blades together and really trying to arch that back both forwards and backwards. So what we're doing here, we're getting blood flow to the air, we're warming up the muscles, we're warming up the spine, the thoracic spine, we're warming up the ligaments, and we're helping to warm um, around the nerves as well. So now reach back with your arms, reach up to the ceiling as much as you can, really feel a stretch into the front. You're gonna clasp your hands together and breathe in. As you exhale, roll forward and really try to get that stretch in the back and use those arms to pull back up to the ceiling. We're gonna repeat this again. Roll forward, tuck your chin to your chest, really try to get that bend in the back. So we're using our arms to act as a long lever to really work those muscles in the back and recover back down. So after the warm up, we're going to take the broom or a stick that you have in your house that's straight and put it in this position. Now, if you have shoulder problems and it's really tight, you can put your arms wider or you can put them kind of in between, which is what I prefer. So now we're going to test our rotation side to side. So test the right side and test the left side. And again, test the right and test the left. So what we're doing is we're looking for something that feels restricted. So for me, it's my left side. So once you find that restricted side, you're gonna side bend, recover back up, rotate a little bit more. Side bend, recover back up and rotate a little bit more. Now don't go to a range where you're feeling any sort of pain, sharp pain, nothing like that. You wanna work within a range, you are comfortable. So as you notice, every time you side bend, when you recover back up to the neutral, you're able to rotate a little bit more, as you can see me doing. And you wanna rotate as much as you can until you feel you just don't have that ability anymore, and you rotate back to center. Take a deep breath in, and now let's retest. Rotate side to side. And does one side still feel a little bit more restricted? So I did still feel a little bit more restricted on my left, so let's repeat that again. And again, side bend and recover, rotate. Side bend, recover, rotate. Now, keep the side bending in the upper back. We're trying to work the upper back, not the lower back. And back to center. Deep breath in and retest side to side. See how that feels? It should feel way more equal. So for me, that was evened out. If you need to pause the video to do it again, please do so now. So now we're going to go to the floor and work on the extension aspect. So once we do a rotation, we wanna to try to straighten things out. So again, we're gonna work on the upper part of the extension of the thoracic spine. So find a bench or even a chair. This may be a little low for some people, but it's all I had for this video. Keep your knee in line with your hip and you're going to work on the extension ability of that upper spine. So try to press down, put your chest closer towards the floor and recover back up. Again, really kind of reach through, get that pressure in the upper part of your back and relax. So you can breathe through this. Really feel those shoulder blades pressing into your spine to get that arch. So now hold this and take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take a deep breath in again. And exhale. So I left my head hanging here, but you can also go a little bit closer to rest your forehead on chair which is what I recommend for most people having your head hang is a very advanced movement but I just wanted to show you that possibility again so every time you exhale you get a little bit more of an arch so inhale exhale a little bit more of an arch good and recover back up to the center and we're going to do cat and cows 
to try to curve everything as much as possible and squeeze your shoulder blades down and back and arch your back looking up to the ceiling. And squeeze everything, tuck your chin to your chest, try to bring a chin to your belly button and squeeze everything up, shoulder blades down. And squeeze, try to arch your back evenly. So imagine every part in your spine, every vertebra is bending forward and then extending. So bend it forward and extend up. Tuck everything in and extend everything out. All right. So now we're going to take a seat again. So grab the pole and now we're going to encourage side bending. So we're going to check side bending. So side bend one way and side bend the other. Again, we're looking for range and motion differences. Do we feel it easier to bend one side to the other? So whatever way we feel more restricted, that's the side we're going to work on. So for me, it was side bending to the right. So when we side bend to the right, we rotate to increase and side bend again. Rotate to increase side bend even more. Rotate and side bend. So as you notice here, whatever range of motion you want to improve, you do that first and then you do either side bending or rotation to make it a bigger range of motion. So again, rotate, side bend. Do as much as you can and recover back to the center. So really recover back slowly, don't force it. And retest, side bend one way, side bend to the other way. And if you feel you need to do it again, pause the video and do so. For me, once was suffice. Now we're gonna go down to the floor again, work on the range of motion of the lower part of the thoracic spine. So grab the broom like this, where your hands are spaced apart as wide as your shoulders. And you want this time your hips behind your knees this time. So the other time we did in line, this time we want our knees in front of. So now you're gonna slowly arch and then arch back and try to bring the pole closer towards Again, arch back up and then arch, extending backwards, bringing our chest towards the floor. So if you notice this time, my lower part of the spine is what is moving versus before when my arms are out straight, it was more upper thoracic spine focused. So we're really working on the whole thoracic cage here. So now hold it, deep breath in and exhale, increase a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, push a little bit more. Let that chest fall even closer to the floor. Inhale, exhale again. Let that chest fall a little bit more. Inhale, exhale. Chest is falling even further towards the floor. And now recover back up. Awesome. Slide the broom out of the way. We're going to finish off with stretching out our lats. So go into child's pose and crawl to about a 45 degree angle to one side. So imagine you're lying in a box. You're trying to aim for the one corner. Really feel the stretch on the side of that rib cage. Inhale and exhale in this position. And now take a few moments to crawl to the other side. Same thing, inhale, exhale, feel that stretch in the side of the rib cage. So if you feel you need more time in the stretch, you can pause the video and continue the stretch. Otherwise, congratulations, you just completed the full video in just about 10 minutes. Now, if you have any questions for me, please leave that in the comments below. And if you know anyone in your life who would benefit from this just like you are, send this video to them. So great people that fit the bill for this are people who sit at a desk all day. This is an area that is commonly targeted and often loses range of motion, especially the longer and longer we live, right? Gravity starts to win and we start to develop a forward head posture and that puts a lot of forward stress on the back so you know that that hunchback of notre dame sort of syndrome 
And if you have any requests for me in the future of videos you want to see from me, also leave that in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe because once you do, you'll be notified of every single video that I release in the future. Thanks for all your support.